That's it, fluent3months.com. And I want to show you a little trick that I've been uh, doing since I got here to Taiwan. See, I'm trying to learn how to speak uh, fluent Mandarin. But a big problem a lot of learners have if they're going to maybe a restaurant or something, is they've got to read all of the Chinese. And that's, that's a big challenge because there's thousands of different characters you have to learn. And uh, it's very important to do this if you want to have an, a, a great level of Chinese. But since I'm focusing on speaking first, I've got a little trick that I want to show you today that's been very, very helpful. And it's an app on uh, iPhones and Androids. So let me show you how it works. So what I've been doing is using an app called Playco. And this is a free app that you can download uh, for your iPhone or onto the Android. And then it's got some paid extras, but I'll show you the free features first. And basically this one app has a dictionary, it's got OCR, it's got handwritten recognition, it's got flashcards, it's got voice recognition, and a few other things I'll show you in a minute. But let's start with uh, the free version, which has um, a handwritten recognition. So if I want to write a character, um, I, I can see what the result would be. Oops, sorry. Uh, so actually, I'll show you a demonstration of something real, so you have an idea of what it is. So, come here for a second. Let's see if we can figure out how to pronounce the name of this, uh, this shop. So if I go to my handwritten app, and I'll try and reproduce the, the characters. So we have stroke down, stroke over, stroke like this, down. Now, my stroke order isn't perfect, but you can actually see that it's accurately reproduced that first syllable, uh, that first uh, character. So that's great. Done. And that's pronounced uh, shoo. All right. And I can go back to it and maybe draw the second syllable here, uh, second character. Box over. Okay, it's not, that's not so great, my, my version, I, I made a mistake in it, but it still recognized what that character is, and that's pronounced Shang. So I know the name of this shop, uh, this restaurant, is Shu Shang, more or less. Um, and if I, if I still wasn't 100% clear, there's a, a little audio associated with all of these, so if I uh, hold it up to, my, to the camera, you can just about hear that, um, and you know, if, if you're in a noisy area, and that's the whole point for me, is I'm using it in the real world, not, not in a, a quiet room. If I just hold it up, I can hear how I'm supposed to pronounce something. So th this part of the app is free, the handwritten uh, aspect. But what I've been really getting use out of, because you can see, if you wanted to recognize menus and stuff, that would take a while. And a, a catch I do have to point out with the handwritten app, is you have to try and have your stroke order as accurate as possible. So if you're just a tourist and want to use this app, just spend a few minutes to try and figure out, uh, uh, let some people get past me here, uh, spend a few minutes to try and figure out um, how to get the, the way right. So when you're drawing a Chinese character, you have to start up and work down, and then you have to start left and work right, and then work inside. And it's, uh, you can do a quick Google search and you'll get a general idea of how that works. So make sure you're doing that right, because let me show you just a quick example. Um, just uh, the, the number four has uh, this look, but if I do it with the wrong stroke order, um, it actually doesn't recognize it. None of, none of these are the, are the right one. Whereas the character is, pr is pretty close. I mean, it looks like it, but the, the stroke order is wrong. So it's very, very important to get the stroke order right. And in this case, it's something more along the lines of starting left, going up, drawing the parts in the middle, and then the part at the bottom, something like that. And then it does get it. And then I can see that that's uh, su, the number four. So just keep that in mind. When you want to use this free handwritten app, you have to do the right stroke order. And if you're learning Chinese for real, that's going to be something you're putting time into anyway. But just something for a tourist to know. Now here's my favorite part that I've been using a lot. If I want to eat in a restaurant, I can pronounce the Mandarin basically okay when I know the pinyin, when I know uh, the romanized version. 
but if I'm seeing all these characters, I can't possibly, at the moment, since I've only been studying Chinese a couple of weeks, I can't possibly say everything or recognize everything. There's thousands of sim symbols. So this is what I do. I use the optimal character recognition. So you press the, the button and you'll actually see uh, it will recognize the character. So let's check it out with an example. Look at this uh, menu here. So let's say I want to recognize uh, what's, what's on this menu. So if I hold my phone up to particular parts of it, then you can actually see this says that's pork, beef, and I don't know what that is, so I'll pause it and I'll view the entry. Uh, now you can actually switch between different dictionaries. This dictionary is just Chinese Chinese, but if I switch it, this other dictionary tells me it's a set meal. So I know that that's a set meal for uh, beef and pork, which is very handy. You can uh, just look at the, the menu in general, resume, and you'll actually see as I scan through, it translates uh, everything for me um, to English, and most importantly to Pinyin. So I think the useful part of this is when you've got something, uh, you'll actually see the uh, the way you're pro you're supposed to pronounce it. So, new uh, zhuo, more or less. Or if you're still not sure, you can uh, hear it say it to you. So, don't know if you heard that. More or less, uh, you know, when when you listen to it yourself, it's fine. So I think this is great because this has so much potential that you can understand all the menus and you can actually say it. So you no need to to start. Getting, asking people in English or asking for translations, you can be totally independent as long as you're confident with your pronunciation. And I don't think it's a good idea for skipping learning traditional characters. This is a very important part of Chinese. But I need to get into speaking quicker, and this has been a huge help for me to do that. So um, let's sit down and I'll show you a couple more features. So just to, to show you a few of the features I haven't mentioned yet and give you some idea of um, the kind of pricing and they do with this. Uh, firstly, instead of doing what you've just saw me do, of trying to hold the camera up and, and scan, as cool as that is, because it recognizes it instantly as you're looking, what I prefer to do is actually uh, go up, take a really nice photo of the menu, and then sit down and just go through that photo. So this, this is one I've taken of uh, one of the menus here, and you can just see, I can see the, uh, what the different components are. So this first item would be uh, a shrimp dumpling, or if I, uh, oops, if I move this up, I can see this next one would be more different types of meat, and then see these different ingredients, uh, new, new, uh, type of cake. So this is how I prefer to do it. And just one thing that's kind of important when you're using uh, the OCR or the camera in the real world, because I've seen people use this app in videos online on books, but when you're out and about, you do have to take into consideration you need to make sure there's no shadows or lights going across the characters, because then uh, it has a few problems with that. I know they're going to improve the algorithm in a few months, but for the moment, just make sure it's a nice, clear picture with great contrast. And this only works on printed style uh, Chinese. So what you would have seen, the, the name of the store, it wouldn't work so well with that because that's not a standard font. So you do have to draw that yourself. So you can figure out if you would need the OCR. I think in general, when you, you can use it to actually understand and read a book if you wanted, you can go that far. But for me, it's better for short things because it's relying entirely on the internal dictionaries of the app. So it's not like Google Translate where you can have a big sentence and it would translate the whole thing. You have to do, look at the particular words and understand the different components. And because of this, it's a great tool for language learners of Chinese. If you just want to take a shortcut and not learn the language, um, no, no app is ever going to skip that part for you. You have to put the work in. But it's great to have this extra uh, addition to get around that. Now, a few things about uh, the Playco app in particular, because there are other apps you can get that have features this has. But I, the reason I would recommend this one is because it gathers everything together. So uh, the free version has the handwritten um, option that I showed you, and it comes with a basic dictionary. So you'll get some uh, useful things from that. 
um, and it depends on what you're looking up. But uh, if you go for one of the premium versions, you get some extra features. Um, so I think one of the, be the one option they have is for forty dollars, you get the NWP English to Chinese Dictionary. Um, so that's good for if you want to know how to say something. So uh, to give you just an example of that, let's go into the dictionary mode. So here you can see I can switch between uh, Yingwen, English, and Zhongwen, Chinese. So in English, I've got various different options and I can just use the keyboard. So if I want to know how to say umbrella, for example, I just write it out and then I get the option uh, in the dictionary. And the one that comes with the $40 package, uh, package is... Um, yeah, I forget, I forget which one of these these. You can see the different dictionaries have different kind of options. Like this one is only Chinese, whereas my favorite one would be the ABC dictionary because it comes with the pinyin and it has color coded over the characters so you know which tone to pronounce them. And when you click it, as always, it will actually speak it to you. So you can listen to that and, and understand it. And another thing is if you want to understand the component syllables, you press the button, it'll tell you more about that, that uh, sorry, not syllable, character. It'll tell you more about that character. You can see examples it's used in, different sentences. This all depends on the dictionary that you have installed though. Um, you can see more information, like if there's an alternative. Like I should actually say that everything I'm showing you here is based on traditional Chinese because I'm in Taiwan. But the app actually has both traditional and simplified. You can set whichever you want to be the, the default. So I've set it to be traditional, but if you want, it'll give you the simplified variant if there is one. In this case, there isn't. And here's another feature. This doesn't. This also doesn't come with the free version. Uh, but some of these, like this one here, is a five dollar extra uh, if you were to get it just this. But if you get the package, then you get a lot of different things. And this shows you the stroke order. So as you're learning a particular character, you'll see exactly the way you're supposed to write it out. Starting from where, and you can see it follows the basic rules I was talking before, where you're starting left and you're working from up to down. And then there's a few little things you have to be aware of, like uh, top right corners tend to go as one stroke. And it depends, like it's very, there's great variations, but if you learn that basic stroke order, you can use the handwritten part very well. And then you can see the different components that make up the various characters, which can help you if you've learned, the, uh, you know, to help you remember the characters, or compounds that use that different version of the character. And finally, different words that use uh, that particular character that go on. You can see there's a big bunch of them here because it's a very big dictionary. You can have it just starting with the character, or containing it, or both, or whatever. So. Um, these are all lots of individual features I find pretty useful, uh, but I do have to mention that this, uh, most of what I find useful is from the paid option. And I, I generally don't push people towards buying paid uh, products because I think you can learn a language for free in many situations. And way too many apps you'll find on the App Store in iTunes and the Android App Store are actually made by marketers who don't really understand languages. I've been talking with the developer of this app, and he's been he's been working on this for a long time. He, he actually made a, a, a simpler version of this for the Pam Pilot in the late 90s. So you can see that he's put a lot of work into this, and I, I, I can appreciate that. So I'm happy to encourage people to check it out. Um, however, just keep in mind that uh, the, the best features are paid. And uh, I'm not getting any commission for this, so I'm just telling you this and, uh, if you are learning Chinese. For me, paying the $40, would be totally worth it for these features, especially living in the country. I can eat independently. I can go to a, any restaurant in any any small street and eat. I, I really like that. Uh, just a quick overview of a few other features. There's a, a flashcard that comes with it. Um, 
there's another flashcard app that I really like is Anki, um, which I've been using mostly. But I, I think this is a pretty good competition for that because it integrates with the app. So you, you see something in a dictionary, you add it to the flashcard to review later. It comes with the audio included, so uh, that's pretty handy. Um, it comes with the basic dictionary, but my favorite dictionary is the ABC dictionary. Uh, which is both Chinese English and English Chinese. So obviously the English Chinese, you would need it when you want to express yourself. You want to say a word that you don't know how to. And you show the Chinese and you show the pinyin so you can actually pronounce it. And then the Chinese English, you would need it to actually recognize all of those uh, characters that you're reading and uh, menu items and so on. So um, for the budget-minded, I'd recommend actually getting the basic bundle which is $40 that comes with the NWP English Chinese dictionary uh, the optimal character recognition so you put your phone and it recognizes you need it you need a camera on your phone for that uh, the stroke order diagrams uh, the full version of the text file reader so if you're actually just surfing the net on your smartphone you can copy and paste text import it into this and then look at each character hear how it's pronounced understand the stroke order and so on so you can use it by copying characters from other apps into it uh, and it includes both audio pronunciations there's two of them there's a, a male and a female uh, which i think is pretty useful because you, if you press it twice you'll hear it's pronounced by two different people so you can get a better idea um, that's all forty dollars. So, uh, or, or just keep in mind the price I'm telling you might change because um, they updated and so on. To get the latest version of the price, go to pleco.com. That's p-l-e-c-o.com. Um, and they have another one, the professional version, which is eighty dollars. And I don't think it's so necessary to get this. Uh, this one is the same as the one I just told you about, but it comes with the ABC Chinese English and English Chinese and a 21st century dictionary. Um, and it depends on what you're using it for. The 21st century dictionary has more terms in it, but it does not have the pinyin, and that's why I like the ABC dictionary, because I can see how I'm supposed to pronounce the word, and that helps me a lot since I'm trying to speak the language. Um, so what I rec recommend for people would be get the $40 version, or first get it for free and check out the, the basic dictionary and hand, handwritten thing and see if you like it. If you're full-time invested into Chinese and you have a smartphone, then I do recommend you get the basic bundle for $40 um, plus the ABC Chinese English dictionary for $20 instead of the $80 package because uh, you've already got an English to Chinese dictionary. So that, that's what I recommend for that. Um, so the, just keep in mind, it's, it's not for free, but I think it's worth the $40 or $60 because you've got a, a dictionary which you would pay that much for anyway if it was a printed dictionary, and you've got all these cool features that you've seen me show off. Um, you've got the stroke order diagram so you can really learn how to, to write the language. And as I've said before, and I've blogged about this, you can never find an app that's going to replace language learning. That's not going to happen. And what I like about this app is it encourages and facilitates language learning. So it's giving you that little foot in the door where you can walk into any Chinese restaurant and you can read the menu. And that is a huge deal because that, that allows you to actually start speaking. You can see the pinyin, you can say it to the person. And, um, you know, theoretically, if your spoken level was very good but you're still struggling on reading, then this might help you out. So if you have a smartphone and if you're, especially if you're in the country, uh, because if you're just at home, it can help you for reading books. But I think if you're in the country, it can be a huge change for how you can interact with the locals. Um, so I would recommend that you check it out. Um, if you want any more information or up-to-date price information, then check out plico.com. Um, as I said, I'm not getting paid by them to do this. I just genu genuinely think it's, uh, it's a cool app. Um, and if you have any questions, just uh, hit me in the comments below or contact the, the author of the, the app. Uh, and everything I showed you is relevant for the iPhone and the Android version. I was showing you the Android version, but all of these features are on the iPhone as well. Uh, just the pricing might be a little different. So, thanks a lot for watching. And uh, if you're learning Chinese, then maybe check this out. 
uh, but otherwise make sure you always speak the language. That's why I like this because it helps me to speak the language. So don't forget that. Thanks for watching.